this is the Sears Divine Masculine Diaries for the weekend. Let's find out what Divine Masculine needs to hear. Holy Spirit, show me what Divine Masculine needs to hear. Eight of Swords reversed. King of Swords reversed. There could be an argument with a karmic who walked away from you or you walked away from them. This could be your Divine Feminine's karmic, possibly. King of Swords reversed. You're freeing yourself from a narcissist or a psychopath or whatever this is. You could be walking away from... This could also be a karmic father of some sort or it could be an ex. You're finally walking away from a karmic male, female, whatever this is. This could even be um, a friend or a family member. Or this could be a message about your divine feminine that she's walking away from a karmic masculine here. So who is this karmic here? This could be an air sign, but not necessarily. What's up with this guy? Knight of Wands. He's a player. Okay, so this could be an ex of yours or your Divine Feminine who is a player. Six of Swords. Again, moving away. This could even be traveling. This person could have moved away or relocated or you moved away from them. You relocated somewhere. Overseas. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting like this is... Uh, travel at a distance, travel at a distance, travel at a distance. So, yeah, you're definitely moving away from this karmic. Two of Cups reversed. This could be a separation. This could be a friend. This could be either a romantic relationship or a very strong friendship you had with somebody. But you realize that this is karmic. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm getting. You're moving far away from a karmic... This could be even a friend, like um, somebody who's your buddy for a long time. Yeah. Six of Cups. Yeah, somebody you've known since childhood. Queen of Pentacles. This could even be a parent of yours that you're leaving behind. A karmic parent. So it's either your karmic mother, a karmic father, or both. This could be... Uh, somebody you're married to that you've known since childhood. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. You're leaving the, this person. You're walking away and you're relocating far away from this person. Yes. Eight of Pentacles. Maybe for work. You're saying that you're leaving for work. You could have found work in another country possibly. And that's your way of uh, finally freeing yourself from this person could be another state for example if you're in the united states of america i might just move to another state far away across the continent <laughs> queen of pentacles yeah this is definitely about work so you found uh, some very lucrative work somewhere or you started your own business and this business is doing very well and it allows you to travel around the world so maybe that's what you're doing. You have an online business and uh, it allows you to travel everywhere and to get away from karmics. It could be, or it's just a job that you got. It's a very good job um, somewhere else. Okay, there you go. Knight of Swords. Okay, so yeah, you moved very fast. This could have happened very quickly. You could have just applied and got the job really quickly and you just relocated. This person maybe that didn't even get used to the idea that you're leaving. Could be. Okay, so what's up with this karmic? This person might try to communicate with you. If you've already walked away from this person in the past, they might try to communicate with you now because it's Mercury retrograde, right? Uh, this is Gemini, which is Mercury energy. So this could be communication coming in from this karmic, which could actually be an air sign because I've got, I've got a lot of air cards for this person. So they could actually be an air sign or they're communicating with you because it's Mercury retrograde. King of Swords reversed is a karmic usually, but with the Eight of Swords in reverse is somebody you walked away from. You could even be a divine masculine woman, could be free of pentacles. This could be, like I said, this is either a family member, somebody you lived with, somebody you worked with. Okay, so if this is about work, this could be somebody you worked with or somebody you worked for. And this was a karmic job. That's what I'm getting here. So even if it's not family, I'm getting a lot about work 
for some reason. So it could be that this was a former employer and now you're working for yourself and this employer, former employer might see you as the competition possibly. And they might be trying to offer you some kind of collaboration or some kind of uh, job, some kind of position within their company, maybe a better one than before, because they don't want you to be their competition or they don't want you to, to be independent, to have your own business possibly. Or this is a family member, somebody you walked away from and they want to give you some kind of job um, in the same country or the same city where you are. So because they found out that you're leaving because you got a better job, they could say, no, 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 wait, wait, because I can work with you on this thing. So they're trying to prevent you from leaving by giving you some kind of job, some kind of collaboration here. And all these cards here are in reverse. Let's see, we've got six of pentacles reversed. This person is not good at collaborating with people or cooperating with people. This is not a good boss, okay, if this is a boss. If this is a family member, this was not a family member who was very good to you. King of pentacles reversed. So this is either a boss. Again, king of pentacles could definitely be a boss or a father. So this father could have been your boss too, actually. You could have had a family business. Or this person wants to offer you some kind of job where he works or something of the sort. Or this is a former boss who wasn't a good boss, period, right? They didn't pay you well. Um, you didn't have proper, you didn't have a lot of freedom in this job, right? And now you're very happy because you found a job where you can work on your own. You know, you have your own company, you can travel wherever you want. But this person is trying to prevent you from doing that by offering you some kind of roll closer to home closer to them because they want to have control over you again nine of wands reversed this is somebody nine of pentacles reversed this is somebody who doesn't want you to get over some kind of trauma that they could have caused themselves they don't want you to be independent so yes yeah, somebody this is a karmic who is very controlling could be a karmic father could be an employer could be an ex you might even be a woman and this could be a male who was your ex because I'm definitely getting masculine energy from this person. Very masculine energy. Is this really a male? Male man? A male man. Yes, he is. He could be an, a male man. I don't know. Seven of Swords. This is somebody who is very sneaky. Somebody who could have been sabotaging you. So you didn't want to work with this person anymore. You walked away and you started your own thing and this person has been trying to sabotage your work. And this could be even your own father or your ex or whatever. I don't know. It could be different people. But it's a controlling male authority figure who is misusing their authority, right? King of Swords and King of Pentacles are bosses usually, are the biggest bosses, you know? And they could be older people. I see them as older than the King of Cups and the King of Wands, for example. So that this could definitely be somebody's father or somebody's boss. And they're both in the reverse. So this is very distorted masculine energy. Okay, so there you go. You freed yourself from this karmic father or employer or ex. And now you're independent, you're happy, you're traveling. And this person wants to, to lure you back in with something. How are they going to try to lure you in? How are they going to try to lure you? Ten of Cups. With the promise of a uh, happy family, of happiness. Knight of Cups. This could be a romantic partner too. This could be a, an ex you had a relationship with and you walked away. And now they're going to love bomb you, tell you that you're going to have the big happy family together. But like I said, I clarified very clearly that this is a karmic that you finally freed yourself from. And now they're coming back in. Promising you stability and happiness, right? Happily ever after here. This could be somebody who says that they changed. They might be coming in saying that they've changed. And that they want stability, commitment with you. They want to have a family with you. But look at that. I stopped here. Seven of Swords. This is some kind of trickery. Okay? It's just um, a ploy to pull you back in. Am I right about this? Seven of Swords again. Okay? So the Seven of Swords keeps coming out. Yeah. 
And this person wants something from you. Ah, they might want to steal from you, especially if you're very abundant, if you've been working very hard and you're um, doing very well financially, especially if you have your own business. They're hoping to steal from your business, to drain your business. Is this somebody who's actually stealing from your business? Is this somebody who's actually stealing already? Because they could be somebody who has been watching you and stealing from you already. And now they're coming in to say that they want a commitment with you. Or they're coming in for the commitment because they want your money. Is this person already stealing something? Two of Swords. Eight of Cups. Six of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Yes. Yes, they are stealing from your business. They could be stealing from your bank account. Or they could be blacklisting your business. They could be gossiping about your business. They could be um, ringing other people in your industry, talking rubbish about you, making you look bad. They could be doing anything possible to block you. This is blocking, okay? So they're trying to block you from receiving abundance, from receiving clients. This person could be giving you bad reviews. They could be telling people that you're not good to work with. Yeah, they're blocking you. They're trying to get you to walk away from your business. They're also very upset that you just left them behind. You walked away and you're becoming more successful. After you walked away from these people, from this person, you became more successful. So what they're doing is they're stealing from your business. They're, they could be stealing your clients. They could be talking rubbish to um, other people in your industry. So this is somebody who purposefully is keeping you stuck but we still have the six of wands here so <coughs> that's victory so that means you are victorious but at the same time there's a stagnancy when it comes to your finan finances here it looks like your finances aren't going up so you might be getting attention you might be um, recognized for your work but you're not paid accordingly that's what I'm getting here and it's because of this person. And this person could literally be stealing from your account. Also, the Six of Wands is a yes to my question. Because I asked if they're stealing from you. Yes, they are stealing. 34 could be significant. Three of Swords, Four of Swords. You healed from heartbreak, okay? This person could have broken your heart in one way or another. And you've healed from the heartbreak. So this could even be an ex. An ex who's uh, making sure that you're, you can't be independent. So that you can feel like you're still dependent on them. So this person might want to offer you something. After having sabotaged your work. Thinking that you're more likely to accept getting into a relationship with this person. Because your business is not doing as well as you thought it would. So um, yeah, this person wants you to need them whoever this is this could actually be a romantic partner a former romantic partner or somebody you are in love with a karmic and this person has been sabotaging your business so they can come in and be your savior that's what i'm getting here this is very sinister but yeah i've seen this a lot actually throughout my time reading cards ten of wands they want to cause burdens for you okay they want you to be very burdened so that you feel like you need their help. But they're the ones who are causing the burdens in the first place. They're the burdens. Yes, the fool. And this person could be um, could be enjoying themselves at your expense. They could be laughing at your expense. And look, he looks like a thief, you know, like in the movies. This is an actual thief. This is somebody you had feelings for, you were in a relationship with, could be even a family member that you worked with or something, an ex-employer who could have had romantic feelings for you, etc. But this person is like they're making fun of you. Nine of Swords. They're, oh my God. They're laughing at your anxiety. They're laughing at your sadness. This is a very sinister person. And this person is very emotionally stunted, free of swords. They're a heartbreaker. Yes. 
So they're going to offer you something, but it's like a poison apple. Illusions. They're offering you illusions. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. They're, it's going towards... This person is very self-satisfied. They're very sure of themselves. And again, the Five of Swords makes me think of somebody laughing in your face after they've hurt you, after they've defeated you. Ten of Swords, betrayal. So this person is coming in to betray you again. Just as you freed yourself from them again they're coming in to betray you again that's this person's pleasure so they want to have some kind of reunion here they want to reunite with you they want to tell you that you that you're going to have stability that you're going to have a new beginning and then they're going to ghost you again so they're going to come in and you're going to go from the ten of pentacles to the four of pentacles because they're going to steal from you and then they're going to cut you off and they're going to ghost you and uh, 14 is temperance, it's balance. So this person considers that this is balance, that this is justice for them to do this to you. Although this person hurt you before, they think that uh, it would be only just and fair to hurt you again. This person could feel mad at you for some reason. Maybe they're mad at you because you freed yourself. That's all. That's the reason why they're mad. Because how dare you walk away from them? Five of Wands, this person's been causing conflict for you. Uh, like I said, they could have been um, turning people against you. They could have been talking to your competition, making you look bad to your competition, also to your potential clients. Very sinister. This person's been pocket watching you for a long time. Wow. And they were there always to block any kind of celebration you have. So this could be somebody who has been around for a very long time since your childhood because I did get the Six of Cups earlier. So this is somebody you've known since childhood, whether this is a family member or a friend or a former lover, etc. It's somebody who's been always been hovering around your life somehow. And you finally walked away from this person for good and they're stealing from you and they're trying to sabotage you in any possible way so that they can come in and offer you something which is fake. So that they can hurt you one more time. Because they haven't had enough. Five of Wands, they just like to cause conflict for you. So, Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. They want to betray you again and see you um, devastated. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting the vibe that this reading's for a woman who... Um, resonates as divine masculine rather than for a man but it could be for a man too but i'm getting a very masculine energy from this karmic and a very cruel kind of energy very narcissistic maybe even worse than narcissistic to be honest i'm getting uh, a sadistic person just cruel and sadistic whatever the label it is but yeah they're absolutely cr cruel cruel and sadistic there you go Male or female. Could be a female with a masculine energy. Yeah, like a female narcissist or whatever, you know. Or psychopath. Female psychopath. Knight of Cups. Yeah, they're going to come in and love bomb. They're going to say that they want an equal balance relationship here. Uh, they want to get over the trauma that they caused you. They want to heal your heart. That's what they're going to say. They're going to talk about the past. That they've grew up. But then they're going to block you again. King and Queen of Cups. Ah, this person's coming in because they know that you are coming into union. Or you could even be in union already. So that's what they're doing. They're trying to block your union. So they're coming in to offer you something. To make sure that you don't actually get into a relationship with the person you're really supposed to be with. Yes. Exactly. King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This person could be somebody who watches readings, you know. They could be uh, predicting what's going to happen next. They know you're going to be in a relationship with somebody that you might even work with or you're going to meet a person at work and you're going to have a happy relationship with this person. Or this is somebody you're going to have a relationship and start a business with, like a family business with. So... King of Swords reversed. That's him, the karmic masculine we're talking about. Yeah. 
this could be somebody you thought was your divine masculine in the past or you hoped that they were wish fulfillment six of pentacles you've always hoped for this person to be able to offer you something equal and that's what they're coming to to say that they want to offer but it's not true okay let's talk about your real divine counterpart who's your real divine counterpart divine masculine four of swords this could be a libra this could be somebody you don't talk to, you're in separation with this person, or you don't even know this person yet. This could be somebody you're manifesting. Libra and Sagittarius energy here. Who is the person that you, who's your real counterpart? Ten of Pentacles. Reversed. Hmm. Well, it's not one of your family members. It's not somebody you've um, created anything with. You don't have a legacy with this person. So it could be somebody brand new. Is this a brand new person for the for Divine Masculine? Four of Wands, but it flipped in the reverse. Why did it flip in the reverse? Okay, who is your Divine Counterpart? Male or female, who's your Divine Counterpart? Holy Spirit, show me the true divine counterpart of divine masculine here. Whoever resonates with this reading. Who is the true counterpart, please? Who is the true counterpart? It came out in reverse. Six of Swords reversed. Somebody returning from the past. This could be from a past life. So maybe you've known this person in a past life, not the past of this life. Could be, uh, again, it could definitely be an air sign. Who is the true divine counterpart of divine masculine here? Who's the true divine counterpart? Oh god damn it. Five of Wands. Tell me that the person that's coming towards you is not your divine counterpart. With the Ten of Wands, uh, it did come in the reverse. So this could be somebody who's leaving or who left a karmic situation. With the Ten of Wands reverse, who dropped some kind of burdens here. Talk to me about the real counterpart here. King of Swords, but this time is in the upright. So uh, if your karmic was an air sign, the divine ma uh, feminine, I wanted to say the divine masculine. I feel like this is for a woman, not necessarily. Or you're a man, and this could be another man, or it could be a woman with divine masculine energy, but king of swords came out again so they could be oh they could be similar to the karmic and you might not give this person a chance because they're too similar to the karmic man or woman you are dealing with uh-huh okay 33 could be significant maybe the person's 33 or they're a 33 master number you know their life path could be 33 Both of these are in the upright. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. And this could be somebody you are friends with, you worked with, or somebody you're going to be friends with and work with. Two of Pentacles. This person might have some financial difficulties, though. Or they could be, oh, they, they could be in a third party. They could still be married to somebody else. So your true counterpart could be married to somebody else. Yes, exactly. Uh-oh. So have you met this person yet? Have you met this person yet? Two of Swords. No, I don't think you know this person at all with the Two of Swords. Yeah, you don't know this person, but they're married right now. Nine of Cups is a yes, though, so I'm not sure. Maybe you're guarded towards this person. If you've known them already, you're guarded towards them. Is this the same person as before? I don't think so, though. Is this King of Swords the same as the King of Swords reversed? Knight of Cups. I was talking about love bombing when the, I got the Knight of Cups before. But Four of Cups is a rejection. No, it's not the same, but they might have a very similar birth chart. You might see a lot of similarities between uh, these two. It might be hard to discern which is which. So if you've been watching a lot of readings... Uh, they could have been very back and forth, like some of them very good, some of them very bad, some of them like very mixed, so you couldn't understand what the hell is going on in the reading. So that's because there are two people, 
and these two people have very similar energies but one is in distorted energy one is in the upright so to speak is in uh, positive energy so you might reject the new person because they remind you too much of the old person who you thought was your divine masculine but wasn't okay oh boy Five of yes, exactly. Knight of Swords, Five of Wands. You're gonna fight this person off. You're gonna be like, no, 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 no. I'm not dealing with this again. I'm walking away from this. That's what's gonna happen. I'm afraid. How do you recognize who this person is when you're gonna meet them? This person could even be going for a divorce right now. They could be in the middle of a divorce right now. And you don't know them yet. That's what I'm getting. And when you know them, they might remind you of your ex. Eight of Swords. They're still in the relationship. Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups. Yeah, they're still stuck in a relationship. They're still married at this time. So maybe when you meet them, they will still be connected. They will still be married. This person could be with somebody that they actually care about, but the person doesn't care about them. That could be the case here. So you see how the King of Cups is looking at this Queen of Pentacles. This could be the two of them, him and his wife. And he could be in love with her. He could actually love her, but she she's only with him for money, possibly. Could be. Although they're both in the upright, so maybe... It is a karmic relationship with the Eight of Swords, but maybe it's not that bad. It's just that there's not, um, they're not the same suit, right? He's a King of Cups, she's a Queen of Pentacles. I keep saying it's a he, so you, you might be dealing with a man, okay? Or I don't know. Like I, I've turned the whole thing around, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that a woman's watching for some reason, because that's how I'm feeling it. Or if you're a man, you have a more feminine energy. Two of Cups reversed. So these people are going to separate. That's the thing here. That's clear that they are going to separate. But when you meet them, I think they'll be together. Seven of Pentacles. They've been together for a long time, possibly. This person could feel like they've waited for you for a long time. When they meet you, this person might have the impression that they've always... This is your what they've always wanted. You're the person they've always wanted. And this might actually help them uh, set themselves free from the karmic relationship they're in. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen here. Four of Swords, Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So this person could have been complacent. But uh, yeah, they're going to feel like you're their wish fulfillment and they're going to put in an effort to be with you. Okay? But like I said, you might not give them a chance because of previous experiences. Yes, exactly. This is my uh, yes card. The biggest yes I can get. Six of Cups. Okay, you're going to be thinking about your past, what happened in the past, and you're not going to want to repeat this. So uh, is this going to come together or not? Is this relationship going to come together or not? Yes, it is. Well, it's kind of on the side. It's undecided, right? Because the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles came right on the side. So it's your decision, I suppose, but it could go in the upright if you want. If you have the courage, okay, <laughs> to invest in this. Okay, so there you go. King of Pentacles. Is the King of Pentacles the decision? Divine Masculine here. But you could be guarding your heart. You could be very guarded towards any kind of player-like behavior and stuff. So, yeah. You're going to be very slow about this. Maybe you're going to move very slow with this person. Because of the past. Knight of Wands. Yeah, you dealt with players, males or females, who are players here in the past. Yes. So you're looking very closely. You're, you're very guarded, you know. You're very discerning. Should I cut this person out or not? Yeah. 
Okay. So how are you going to meet this person? Let's see. How are you going to meet this person? Uh-oh. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. That's how you're going to meet them. Through a betrayal. This person might... Oh, this person might have an affair with you. This person might cheat on their spouse with you. Or... You're going to meet this person in a very difficult time with the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. When you're going through very difficult times, when you're very betrayed, you feel very betrayed and backstabbed. Seven of Wands, when you're very guarded towards everyone, that's how you're going to meet them. Oh my God, you're going to be, your walls are going to be all the way up when you meet this person. Because you, you're probably going to be, you have just been betrayed by somebody else. Okay, so does this have any chance of... I don't know. How is this going to work? How is this going to work? How is this going to work? Because it, it looks like everything is stacked against this coming together. How is this going to work? How exactly is it going to work? So, Seven of Cups reversed, Six of Cups reversed. Maybe you need to stop replaying something from the past here with the Seven of Cups reversed. You could be fantasizing about a negative past replaying itself. Six of Cups reversed. This is bad memories from the past, right? Even childhood memories. Seven of Cups reversed. Is, it, in the upright, it talks about fantasizing a lot. About um, Could even be replaying things a lot in your mind. So maybe you need to stop doing that. How can this possibly come together? So maybe you, you still need to heal certain things. How is this going to come together? The Queen of Wands came out again. The Four of Pentacles. Again, Four of Pentacles talks about being very guarded. Maybe this person's going to come towards you. They're going to um, make an offer to you. I don't know. Yes. So this person's going to offer you love. They're going to come towards you. Express their love to you. Five of Swords. Oh, God. But you, you might think this person's a narcissist. When you first meet this person, you might think it's a narcissist. Five of Cups. Yeah, because you're very sad about the past. You, this person reminds you of your past. That's what I'm saying. They remind you so much about your past person that it's like you're definitely sure that it's the same kind of person. So what else can I say? Like I said, it could work, but first, first you need to get over the trauma. Nine of Wands reversed. King of Wands. So that you can have confidence, right? In yourself. To be like the King of Wands. King to the Queen of Wands. Yeah, the Twin Flames, the Fire Sign. You, you're not Fire Signs, not necessarily. But uh, yeah, it's King and Queen of Wands. Their counterparts, the Twin Flames, no? Six of Pentacles reversed. Four of Wands. Well, it is your Twin Flame, but I don't think you're going to take it. I don't think you're going to accept this. They trigger you too much. They remind you too much of your past. And you might... Yeah, heartbreak. Yes, so I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, that's... Somebody flushed. That's great. That's a good ending for this video. <laughs> might as well flush it away. So you're going to flush away the possibility to be with your twin flame because of too much trauma from the past. And they remind you too much of your past. <laughs> 